Okay, some decent news to report. Um, the homeless encampment over here uh, on Northwest Highway uh, and Shiloh Road is looks like it has been either decreed by, I remember hearing Mr. Abbott, our governor, that said no, no camping anymore, but that was uh, a month ago, you know, so I thought this would have taken uh, effect sooner. But also, too, maybe the land developer has taken uh, taken a turn where he has now or she has uh, had someone come in and cut all the trees down or a large section of the trees. And so all the people have been run off and in the majority part of the area, there's not a lot of homeless people now uh, collected in this area. It was, it had gotten bad, bad, dirty. I mean, it, it was over the top. So I kind of given up hope that this would get fixed. But someone came in, either uh, likely, you know, the person that has, you know, owns the land or is going to develop the land, and they came in with saws and cut down a lot of the trees. And, uh, and then that takes away from the shade and with the big logs on the ground and the busted trees on the ground, cut down trees, then there's no place to put your tents. So um, as you can see, just see there's a lot of garbage still that needs to be cleaned up. But for the whole, most of the, <clears throat> most of the homeless people are not uh, over in this area now. So that is a really good sign uh, for our neighborhood. And uh, this neighborhood, uh, it's north, a little bit north or a little bit uh, west north of me, northwest. And, uh, and so it's, uh, I, you know, a really good thing. So, but I just wanted to go over there with my drone today and document um, kind of what was going on and show people the, uh, you know, the cut down trees. And there's still a little few stragglers here and there um, that are in the area and are trying to come back. But as you can see, the, uh, you know, the trees being cut down and it's not as a great a place now. Unfortunate because I don't like, you know, all the trees being just cut down to avoid, you know, the homeless people there. As you know, we, we are supposed to like our trees and uh, make it, you know, the area more green. But, you know, I guess if whatever you have to do to, uh, you know, get rid of this situation and it looks like cutting these trees down, uh, helped i mean you know as drastic as that is over on the uh the other side over there by the gas station they literally cut everything down that was the biggest haven and the most trees over there uh to the uh right across from you know the gas station in the creek there so they did a lot of big equipment in here and removed a lot of trees uh, you know again the you know landscape's not as pretty but it never was pretty with all the homeless people and and the drugs and the and the pooping and you know all just the nastiness but also too when i arrived the all the, the fire trucks were there and i went over there to politely ask them that i was going to be flying my drone and if they had a problem with that and they they uh, one of the fire guys there uh, firefighters told me he goes man we're just here because these people light fires all the time and they're fighting each other and they're lighting their their campsites on fire and uh, man we're here often it's it's a big waste of our time it's a big big waste of resources uh, but we're always here putting out fires so you know hopefully this is going to stop soon and i was like oh, okay and then he was like go ahead and fly your drone you're not going to be bothering us so uh you know I, I put my drone up in the air and uh, and started flying so here was the camp little camp makeshift campsite that someone had set up and someone had set it on fire and so it burned down. So that's why they came out. But uh, get some drone footage of that. They were they were wrapping up and getting ready to leave. But uh, I'm unfortunate this area was so dominated and it's still so littered. Hopefully, um, you know, if everyone's out there picking up trash, I'll definitely go out there and help pick up trash. But I mean, wear uh, you know gloves and have maybe a little pole with a you know that helps you pick up the garbage because there's a lot of unsanitary unsan stuff probably a lot of drug needles and uh you know and maybe some dangerous drugs that are on some of the uh pieces of trash that you know would make someone very very ill or even kill somebody so uh, i just wanted to take my drone out here and document um kind of you know how it's changed and there's going to be some more construction going on with the expansion of of central or i mean L, uh, let me see lbj uh 
that's getting widened so they're preparing the road on the other side of this creek and then you know maybe that had something to do with too i'm not 100 percent sure but uh hopefully this area will will have no more homeless people and uh you know and that's unfortunate because maybe they'll just they're just going to get shipped somewhere else and start going somewhere else and then be someone else's problem but as you can see you know they had to cut down a fair amount of trees and just took a chainsaw and whacked them down and left them where they fell um and again i mean you know that's not pretty too but the, um, obviously they'll get cleaned up when all the other garbage gets cleaned up but um again just wanted to document and share um i'm not uh against people having you know down on their luck um you know because it could happen to anybody but i'm not i'm not reinforcing all the garbage and the trash and the, the human poop and waste and needles and and drugs and all kinds of nastiness that's going into that creek and into the air so um yeah but this is just uh, showing you uh, all the trash that's everywhere so other than that that's catch me on another video have a good day bye bye